Okay, so welcome. It's so good to see all of you here this morning. We're really excited to begin our second day of the Urban Design Forum um, and to kick off the morning with what I think will be a very stimulating talk. Oh, there come those lights everyone talks about. So I've known Albert Pope um, for many years, um, first as a student and then later uh, as a colleague teaching at Rice. And I'm very happy um, to have the pleasure to introduce him here to you today. Albert Pope is the Gus Sessions Wortham Professor of Architecture at the Rice School of Architecture in Houston, Texas. He teaches in the school's undergraduate and graduate program and directs the school's Present Future Master's program. Professor Pope holds degrees from SciArc and Princeton and taught at Yale University and at SciArc before coming to Rice. His design work has received numerous awards, including national and regional awards by the American Institute of Architects, as well as a design citation from Progressive Architecture. He is the recipient of numerous grants from a wide variety of funding agencies, including the National Endowment for the Arts and the Shell Center for Sustainability. He is also the author of the book-length study of the post-war American city, Ladders, which was recently reissued in a second edition from Princeton Architectural Press. In any class that I teach about urban form, excerpts from Pope's book, Ladders, are on the reading list. His analysis of the late 20th century North American urban form is brilliant, evocative, and rewarding, and I think not just for my students, but also always for me myself. Pope's work is insightful in cutting through the cliches and the tropes so central to much writing on the city, notably the overly simplistic dualisms between downtowns and suburban fabrics, and addressing instead the pressing conditions of the contemporary world with really a keen eye to form and to function that's subject to intense hierarchies and operating at many different scales. His writings theorize the contemporary city and reinvigorate a diagrammatic mode for approaching urban form. Recently, his work has turned to Chinese new towns around Hong Kong with studios that he has led there from Rice, looking at how to understand an urban condition that's so different from the North American city. In this work, he's addressing the, um, the urban implications of climate change and looking to formulate new models of density in light of the extraordinary demands soon to be placed on the global urban environment. So with this new work, I think the political side of his, his scholarship is more apparent now than maybe it was in Ladders, and it brings together these interests in global development and environmental change. Like many here, he is interested in using increased densities, smartly designed to address these challenges, and again, as he did in Ladders, by complicating the dualisms of downtown and suburban, the urban and the architectural, and the industrial and post-industrial modes of development. I think he is complicating our understanding of what we can do and what agency design has in the face of global climate change. So I'll end just by saying that I think, can think of really no better speaker on the theme of reframing the agency of design. Pope really brings together the optimism of a designer and the skepticism needed for the task of reframing with a sharp criticality attuned to politics and economics. So I look very much forward to his remarks here today.